Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham once again and today we're going to do a short video, very short video, just an unboxing of the speaker that just arrived here at home and this is the first part of the video that I'm going to do um, about the, um, the modifications that I'm going to do to this Fender uh, Champion 40. Okay, So let's do the unboxing now and we talk a little bit more in a second. The funniest thing is the size of the box because this box is huge and it's a 12 inch uh, speaker so I guess it's a box in a box. Anyway, let's see how let's see how this is packaged. It's going to be a, a bit of a challenge to actually do this because it seems like it's very very safe <laughs> packaging. It's here. Another box. Okay, it took me two weeks to get this thing. And now it seems like it's gonna take me two weeks to remove all the packaging. But anyway. I have a funny feeling that someone returned this item because the packaging doesn't seem to be fully like originally sealed or anything like that. But anyway. Okay, moment of truth. So this is about like well just less than two kilos. And I have to say, it does feel very light indeed. I took this whole box from the post office and it wasn't really heavy or anything. Neo V-Type. Smells really nice too, I have to say. Oh look, you can see the, the hole inside. It's the first time I ever bought a guitar speaker in my life. And I decided to go for these uh, Neo Demon. In, in part because I don't have a reference of a good speaker, so I wouldn't care. <laughs> no, but it's just, I'm going for light, and it's just to put on this little thing here, this Champion Fender Champion 40, that has a Fender special design that has nothing special about it, of speaker. And I wanted to put a good speaker on it and see how it sounds. Uh, even though this amplifier is not amazing, I'm probably not even going to use that. I'm going to use something else, and I'm going to use this as just as a, the cheapest uh, speaker cabinet I could get. Put this one that I'm holding here with my hand. Okay. Um, this. The reason why I went for this this um, V1 is like I never had anything like a, a speaker. I know the v vintage 30s because my friend has in his Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Uh, but it's not like the 2002, 2003. And the one that I have in my Fender Hot, Delor Fender Hot Rod Deluxe is Celestium, but it's just um, 80 something. It's not amazing. So this thing here is not amazing. So I thought this would definitely be better. Even though it might not be the greatest, like different, like from a, an all nickel or a ceramic speaker, or whatever, it would definitely be better than what I have here. And I'm hoping that this will sound better, even though I might not even use the speaker, uh, I mean the, the amplifier. I might just bypass this, the, the amplifier and use uh, the MV, MV50 Vox head and this will be like just the, the, the light, to, like the very light uh, speaker cabinet. That looks cool too because it looks like a Fender. Thanks for watching the unboxing. The next video will be me doing an A-B test with the original speaker and putting this guy in and uh, and yeah, that, that will be the next, uh, the, next, the next video, so stay tuned for it and uh, please subscribe, okay? Uh, check out my band if you can, um, M-Files is on Spotify here, I have two gigs here, just put M-Files live in London or something like that, we're a London band, UK. And next upcoming is the one with the change of the speaker, okay? Maybe it's out already, check out here on the, on the associated links or whatever, okay? Or maybe at the bottom here or maybe on a playlist on the sides, I don't know. Anyway, look for the next video. See you soon. Bye.